Okay, I'm here with the robotics studio guys from Microsoft and uh, I just had to stop here because this look, this looks cool so you've got a, uh, a robot down here and developer tools and uh, you know all this kind of stuff is just something that I, I find fascinating. So what, what are you showing off here today? Hi, I'm David Lee. I'm one of the developers with the Microsoft Robotics Studio and uh, today we have um, the AerobiQ which, um, which is a uh, robot that's made in Korea. And what I'm demonstrating is actually Microsoft Robotics Studio um, being used with this robot. In fact, we work with about 35 different robots, um, including things like the LEGO NXT, the iRobot Roomba, and Create, uh, a whole variety of, of robots, actually, um, that, that we work with today. Um, and so what I've done is I've written a very simple um, program which which allows me to control using an Xbox uh, controller on my PC allows me to control the robot um, just to drive it around. So, um, so, I, so I have a, one of the demos um, that we uh, that we ship with our product. It's called the, the Simple Dashboard, and this uh, allows me to um, to hook up a joystick, and as I as I move that joystick, it, it sends notifications, and those um, can be received by the robot. And you'll notice this robot's not connected to my PC at all, but so it's connected wirelessly. Yeah, and I just uh, and I can simply um, run him around. Okay, and then this is, and that's actually a, a demo so you, that's sort of in, in the development land, which has been written, they're using the developer, developer tools to control that. So it's not a kind of a straight one-to-one -one connection. It's a, it's, it's a custom application uh, that you guys. Are in. So and and actually, yes. Yeah, so so this dashboard is a sample that we ship the source code for, and um, and this uh, this sample allows us to drive any of the robots that, um, that have implemented what we call a generic drive contract. So. Uh, so the first thing we do when we get a, ro a wheeled robot is we um, actually implement the generic drive and we um, and, and then any application that's built using the generic drive like our like our simple dashboard can automatically uh, drive the new robot so we don't have to write any um, code specifically for that robot right yeah um, here and that's one of the really yeah. powerful things about yeah. the Microsoft robotics and, and I guess because you use it or we talked before just about the tools you've, you've got the visual, visual tools that you use like a, a visual designer around and, and C sharp, you could interact using .NET Framework with other stuff as well. So there's so you know there's lots of different scenarios you can do. You can hook it into your media center. You can Absolutely. hook it into whatever you want because you've got if you've got those skills. So so I've actually um, written a very simple service myself just at home um, where I uh, wrote in Microsoft Robotics Studio service that connects to my television, and so I, I'm able to use our visual designer to change the channels and and change the input sources and uh, and so th there's actually a lot of uh, Opportunities in anything that has to do with uh, with automation, home yeah. automation, yeah. media center automation, anything that can be automated from C sharp, you could use uh, Microsoft Robotics Studio to coordinate um, and 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 then run work with that. Uh, and what's the um, and what's the development environment like? Uh, what the development environment is uh, is any of the .NET languages. Um, my fa my personal favorite is C sharp, and so. Uh, so, so we have a complete um, uh, set of documentation, tutorials, um, in order to use Visual Studio, and, and so we provide actually sample source code for for probably a hundreds of, of uh, sample uh, projects um, and uh, with instructions on how how a developer can go about yeah. and do something similar. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's great being able to interact with these devices. And you mentioned before you kind of got an, an, an emulator of one if you've not got any devices that you can. Yes. Yeah, so play this with. is really another cool thing that we have. If you don't have a robot, uh, we have uh, a uh, physics uh, simulation environment. Uh, it's done by Agia, and it's available for a free download uh, with Microsoft Robotics Studio. Um, and Kyle over here uh, can can show us a demonstration of that. Okay, good. Hi, I'm Kyle Johns. I'm also on the Microsoft Robotics team. And uh, this is the 3D simulation environment that's part of Microsoft Robotics Studio. The great thing about this is even if you don't have a robot, you can get started right away programming robotic algorithms. You can prototype new algorithms, and you can also uh, debug your algorithm so that you don't end up crashing your robot into the wall repeatedly. <laughs> Much better to do that with a yeah. simulated robot than yeah. with a real thing. So here's an example of a, a simulated uh, robotic arm. This is an actual arm. It's a Lynx Motion L6 arm. And uh, we have the services which actually drive this arm the same as in the simulation. Mm -hmm. So you can actually program a sequence in the simulation like this domino stacker and have it run on the real arm. 
do right, the same yeah. thing in real life. Yeah. Well, the cool thing about this is it's really a complete physics simulation. There's nothing that's scripted here. If I show you the way the physics engine sees the scene, you see that the arm is built of a number of segments with joints, and we manipulate the scene by actually applying forces to those joints rather than scripting anything. And so if there's any collisions or any slippage or anything that happens in the environment, that's accurately modeled. I can show you a view from above from a virtual camera, or I also have a camera mounted right on the end of the gripper on the arm so that you can see exactly what the arm sees as it's moving around. You don't want to look at that one for very long, you can get some <laughs> So that's an example of what the simulation environment does. Um, it's really a very good environment to be able to uh, simulate robots. We simulate probably on the order of 10 to 12 different robots at this point. And it's a fairly simple thing to uh, implement a, a new model for a robot. Mm. So if you have a custom robot, you can get it in the simulation environment. So I guess with this, that means you can get, so download the SDK and the tools and get, get started without you any hardware investment. Immediately get started. And then as you later acquire robots, you can take those same services you wrote in the simulation environment and make them run on your Lego NXT or whatever other robots yeah. you have. And, and you've got the, the, the studio there. So what the, stu the studio looks very visual. It doesn't look, doesn't look like a a code editor. Well, there's two different ways that you can program services in Robotics Studio. You can actually use uh, any of the managed languages, C Sharp, uh, you know, uh, Managed C++, Visual Basic, any of those languages that you want. In addition, we provide something called the Microsoft Visual Programming Language, which is a data flow language, and all you do is you lay down functional blocks on a diagram, and then you connect those blocks together with data connections, and then as the data flows through the diagram, it's uh, processed. So for example, we get inputs from an input controller, and that eventually sends control outputs to the Lynx arm and right. determines what it's going to do. So okay. you can program without even writing a line of code. You can download the SDK, use the simulation environment, drop a few functional blocks down, and you've written your first robotic algorithm. And then I guess you can then interact with other envi other environment variables, you know, for uh, any corporate that into your program. And yes. Yeah. And actually, you can take this diagram and you can generate C sharp code from it, and then of course you can add any level of complexity you want to it. Yeah. So that, that's pretty good. That so he's kind of taking the whole automation further because you've, you've got actually robotic devices in there as well. That's right. So you could combine home automation and, and robotics and all the different kind of things in there. That's absolutely right. Yeah. And in fact, even though it's called Microsoft Robotics Studio, there's nothing inherently robotic about the services. You can write a service just like David did, which uh, which controls your home, which runs your media center, which um, does just about anything. The idea is that the services make it very easy to write a program that has asynchronous components to it and it makes it easy to coordinate all of those things that are happening at the same time, which is perfect for automating your role. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this, this is great stuff and uh, I, I'm definitely going to be downloading this and as I mentioned before, it looks like it's something that could really suck up your, your free time. Definitely. Well, thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate that.